In a previous video, I explained how to set up partner sharing as a way to preserve all the photos your missionary takes. There is another option on how to preserve those photos, and that is by downloading them to a computer. Let's head to the computer and show you how that can be done. I'm starting here in photos.google.com. You'll want to be in the missionary.org account for these downloads to work. Unless you set up partner sharing and saved those photos in partner sharing to a Gmail account, then you could download them there as well. But we'll just say we're in the missionary.org account. There are a couple ways that you can download photos. One is you can go ahead and individually select each photo, or they will let you select a day as well. So I could click this check mark next to Friday, August 18th, and you'll notice it selected all the photos for that day. And you could go through and just click on all the photos that way. Doing things that way can be a little more time consuming depending on how many photos your missionary took. In addition, Google limits you to 500 photos per download. But say you want to go with this method, you'll come up here and there's three dots right here. Click on the three dots and then click download. And you'll see down in the left corner here, preparing to download 25 items. And it will go ahead and download those items to your computer and you can find them in your downloads folder and go ahead and save them wherever you want. They're now on your computer and saved there. The second option is to go to a website called takeout.google.com. Once you are at takeout.google.com, you will notice that there is a lot of different data that you can download. There are two that are probably of the most interest to a missionary, and that would be their emails and their photos. I'm gonna come over here and click deselect all because I don't want to download all of this content. Instead, I'm going to scroll down until I get to Google Photos and I'll put a check next to there. And I just wanna point out, if you keep scrolling and go down to mail, you can also download the emails of a missionary as well. Okay, so I have photos selected. For now, I'm not going to select mail, but you could do that and download the emails. And then I'm gonna come scroll down to the bottom here and click next step. The next step is to select where you want that data sent to. Right now it is set to send a download link via email. This would send an email to the missionary's account or whatever account you're currently logged into and downloading these photos from. You could also choose to upload it to Drive to Dropbox, to OneDrive, or to Box. I'm going to leave it as send download link via email. Your next option is to choose the frequency. You can export it once, or you can set up to export every two months for one year. So every two months for a year, they would send you a download link to go ahead and download the content that you have selected. The other options are to choose your file type and size. I'm going to leave these at a zip and at two gigabytes. And this says down here under file size, if the export is larger than two gigabytes, then the download will be split into multiple files. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just click on create export. And that has begun the export of those photos. And then once it's begun, you'll get a message saying that it's in progress and that you'll get an email link when it is finished. I am here in my email now and you'll see I have an email right here from Google Takeout saying your data is ready to download. I'm gonna go ahead and open that and click download your files. From here, they're gonna ask that you log in again just to verify that it's you. And then you can see right here is the export that I created and I can click on download and it will go ahead and download that file to my computer. And so now I'll have a zip file full of all those photos. I really hope this video helps you save all those wonderful missionary photos. Be sure to hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. Even better, subscribe below so you don't miss future content from Gospel Mom Tech.